no rest No, no I've been down so long That my mind can't get no rest No, no This ain't easy, darling Cause the devil's on my How's the water temperature? Bloody beautiful. Yeah? Actually, I lie, it's cold. <laughs> but it looks bloody beautiful. No, it does not. What a cool little harbour. This is just on the other side of the kids' playground. Yeah. Still a little spot. And then just over the other side, well, pretty much where that big building is just there, that's where your RV dump and your uh, water fill up is. Yeah. And nice you can actually it. overnight there. Yeah, as 24 well. hours. So. so that's pretty cool. That's oh, a beautiful little spot. We're not really uh, much of city people or anything, but if we're in town, this is pretty good, I reckon. Yeah. Everything in one spot. You got your water field, dump point, kids playground, beach. Oh, like if you're young kids and you're going to stay over a night in the um, a 24 hour stop over there, it's an awesome little spot. You can walk into town, get a feed. Mm -hmm. Right behind us there is the Geraldton uh, Jump Club. Thousand people up there. Yeah. So you can go out, have a night on the town, walk back to your camp, like your caravan. Beautiful. So we pulled up at our little spot just north of Northampton. Went to pull the step out as we pulled up and one of the bolts had snapped. We let the steps come down evenly. So I'm blaming back for it. No, I'm not. You made me do the work. Yeah, I just snuck under here for the video. Yeah, making. Mac no, back did do most of it actually. Yeah, so what happened was the bolt here had snapped. This one here, can you see that? In half. And a threaded end got stuck into the step. So that's like a shank part where the sliding or the hinging goes. And from there, it's shredded through. So it snapped off here, it snapped the thread in there. But we were really lucky, we just jagged it with the drill bit. Well, we tried undoing the bolt first. Yeah. And then that didn't help. Pretty lucky though. Jagged it right in the center, drilled her out. And then smashed one of these. These things here, see these? Yeah. Star looking. Because obviously we don't have a lot of tools with us, but yeah, star bit. So we smashed that in the hole. After you drilled it, yeah. And then used a few extensions. And ratchet. it. And it wound out like an easy out. So anyway, pretty. I was going to drill a new hole because I didn't think there was any way we are getting it out with the tools we have. Well, we got another bolt in there. But we got it. And then now we're just going to undo, we're going to undo the rest, aren't we? Well, just see if that works now. Okay, watch out, Kai. Because it might not. Should hinge on it. Okay, watch it. out. Ah, oh, stop it now. Gotta come out yet. Done. Yep. Perfect. I'll just loosen up a little bit. 
Yep. We'll just take these other ones out and load them up now. So where's the yep. Allen key for that? Uh, I've got Allen keys here, what's all? Mm. Oh, whatever they are. What'd you do for dinner? Uh, some stir fry with some pasta. Stir fry and pasta. Yeah. A little Need bit different fry. mix. But um, we've had a bit of an eventful pull up really, eh? Oh, it's been non-stop. <laughs> so we pulled up here last night at the Ogilvy gravel pit. Uh, it's just a big, there's a big information park bay there. And then behind that, just this big gravel pit. Um, it's on wiki camps. It's a free little camp. So yeah, this is one of our main main stops when we head north. It's a good little stopover, good distance for us. And yeah, we're just gonna chill here, probably stay one more night, wait for Vivian and Shannon to catch up. They're leaving Perth about lunchtime today. So we'll see them later this afternoon. Seagull. How's that view, Josh? Oh, it's beautiful. Huh? Looks a lot better in person than it does on the camera, I bet you. Yeah, look on the camera, it's just like a big. Tell them. Yeah, it still looks pretty good there, but you can't see probably those trees in the horizon. 
Oh, just if you really look for them. What's going on at this table? So, standard tank, 110 oh. litres, I think. Yeah. It's not really going to cut it. So we've got a 205 litre or 44 gallon drum on the back. My hands are pretty. So we just bought one of these sea flow submersible pumps and a bit of hose. This is all last minute stuff, obviously, as you know. This is our list from we, picking some stuff up in Geraldton. Yeah, we always do this sort of thing on the road, but um, yeah, literally, I've just banged this together. A bit of hose. This pump here, I don't know where the packet's gone. You throw it out? Yeah, it's gonna be in. This About one the, here this says uh, seawater, fresh water, and it actually says diesel. Well, not a lot of pumps say that, so I'm pretty surprised at that. So all we've done is cable tie the lead to the hose. Just going to drop it straight on the top of the pump. Uh, the uh, straight on the top of the uh, drum. The drum, sorry. And I'm going to try it in a minute. What I'm doing is, if it comes with these crop clip joiners. So we had to cut the Anderson off that solar panel this morning. So we have the Anderson that we cut off and that bit of length. So I've just soldered them onto there. I'm going to heat shrink these on. And then literally the power outlet on the back of the ram for the caravan, I'm just going to plug it in there when we do the uh, fuel ups. And hopefully it's enough length. Be heaps yeah so hopefully it doesn't take too long to fill up but um i think we're just about ready to try it actually where are you going no no and you're ready to plug it in Hopefully it doesn't go bang. Ready? Yeah. It's in. Hello. Oops. There you are. It's going to be a bit hard to show, I think. Yeah. Oh. I can't really pull it out. That's that. But that is... Pumping. That's absolutely awesome. Just unplug it for a sec. Go to the bloody Venturi. Oh, what? So it's just pumping without it. What now? Yeah. Like you normally do before. Look. Yeah. So you have to pull that out to stop it too. Well, good morning. This is day four. Thursday, Friday. Yeah, day four. Still right. What's the matter? He sucks not on his foot right. The socks aren't on your foot right. <laughs> the toddler things. Hang on. Put this on. Good morning, Shane. Good morning, morning, mate. How are you? Good to yourself? Not too bad. Nice, beautiful morning after a nice cold evening. It was, eh? Yeah, it got nippy. It was a cranky little fire, though. Oh, it was awesome. Couple of bits of wood we cut up from last night, that big log. Morning Viv. Morning. White and two for me, huh? <laughs> yeah, Very just, cheerful. Yeah, did you sleep alright? Oh, with my eyes closed. Oh, that's the way. Yeah. Can't argue with that. No, that's very good. What have you got here? I'm busy making my coffee. You know, my gaga juice. Coffee time. <coughs> no, coffee time. time, coffee time. You don't need a coffee by the sound of that. Oh, mate, ready to So what's the plan today? On the Warrabell, eh? Yeah. 
So this is a big bloody hole that Lavuka dug last night for some reason. Vooks. How's the hole mate? <laughs> So this is uh, Warramal River, beautiful river sand mate, I don't know if there's ever been water in here. <laughs> Bloody rocket to the moon mate. What side of the Oh yeah. <laughs> Jesus mate, I don't know what's going on here. Look! Oh. What do you reckon mate? Thank <laughs> you. 